Howdy there, folks! I'm Gene the Pink Panther, and today we're going to be playing Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. So, we actually played Sonic the Hedgehog already, but that was for the Sega Genesis. We played that about a month ago or so. Well, I mean, if you were watching at that time. If not, then that means absolutely nothing. But this is the Master System version. There are three versions of Sonic the Hedgehog 1. There's the Genesis version, which we already played, the Game Gear version, and then this one that we're playing now, the Master System. And as you can see, Green Hill Zone's ridiculously fucking easy. <laughs> oh my god, if you hit that one ramp at the right... If you hit it right and you just keep holding right, you're going to go straight to the end in 20-some seconds. It's crazy. I love it. I love it. The Master System game is a shitload easier than the Genesis game, which is hard to believe, but, you know, I'm not complaining. It's still fantastic. Anyway, we're going to move on to Act 2 of Green Hill Zone. Which is completely different. We're underground now. What the fuck? <laughs> I have to apologize right now. For the whole entire course of this game, anytime I have a shield, uh, Sonic and the shield are going to be flickering in and out of you, and... Yeah. I'm sorry, I believe it's because I have to use a really old version of Windows Movie Maker. But that doesn't matter, it's such a minor thing that who gives a shit really, right? <laughs> and oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> uh, that pissed me off so much when I was playing, but I'm so happy that it happened, because that was freaking awesome. <laughs> I got hit by the freaking Buzz Bomber. I, I believe they're Buzz Bombers. But anyway... There was the Chaos Emerald. The Chaos Emeralds are not in a special stage in this version of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I know what you're thinking, what? There's no special stage? Well, there is, but the Chaos Emeralds aren't in it. But don't worry, we'll see the special stage. Oh, we'll see the special stage. I'll make sure of it. In fact, I'm going out of my way right now. But yeah, as you can see, the level design of the Master System version is completely different from that of the Sega Genesis version. And I have to say, I do love 8-bit Sonic. I don't know why, there's just something about Sonic the Hedgehog in 8-bit that I just love. It is fantastic. Anyway, when you approach a signpost with 50 or more rings, you get an exclamation mark. And that indeed takes you to the special stage. Also, why are the Chaos Emeralds blue again? Just saying. Anyway, this is the special stage. A completely different experience from the Sega Genesis special stage. And honestly, I love this special stage so much more. Even though I do have to say, all the different colors for some reason make me think of candy. So what's the goal of the special stage? Well, ultimately, it's to get a continue, such as the one I got from that little box. There's usually at least one continue hidden in every special stage you're going to go to, which is fantastic. I like that a lot. The other objective is clearly to get as many rings as you can and get lives and shit like that. And I've never not had uh, Dr. Eggman's face on the signpost when leaving a special stage. You have to make sure you finish the special stage in time, though, or else everything you got in it doesn't count for shit, you don't get it. If you care about score, then you're gonna wanna be continually getting the special stages, but we'll see about that later. When you get to Act 3, Dr. Eggman flies around in his Eggmobile and shows his face on the overworld map. Unlike the Genesis version, Act 3 of every zone is not a huge level. In fact, it's usually a very small part. And it's Dr. Eggman! who is apparently too high for us to reach, I guess, even though you can clearly see Sonic going into the sprite of the Eggmobile. Apparently it's too high up for us to reach. Eventually, though, he'll come down where you can jump into him four, maybe five times. Maybe even six. It looks like I could have pulled six off. And then, yeah, you just keep doing that. As you can see right here, Somehow, I managed to hit him. That doesn't happen often, but it can happen. So, you know, you can still hit him when he's in the sky, but you don't ever need to. As you can see, it's a pretty fucking easy boss fight. It's easier than the Genesis version. As I mentioned, the Master System and Game Gear versions are... Oh, the Game Gear version especially, but we'll see that. But they're much easier than the Genesis versions. Version, not versions, but version. Not virgin either, but version. Anyway, we're gonna go on to Bridge Zone. I love this zone. It's my favorite zone in this game. 
That's a very fantastic theme song. It's... Honestly, this is probably the most memorable zone in this whole entire game. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the song. Maybe it's the way the zone is. I don't know. It's just fantastic. I love it. It's got a lot of bridges. Who would have guessed, right? <laughs> also has these teeter-totter platforms, though, which... We've actually saw in Starlight Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. But, you know, they're not that big of a deal in this one. I do not like the teeter-totter platforms in any Sonic game, but I can live with them in this one, because it's not as frustrating. We're over a bottomless pit, pit, though. There are a lot more bottomless pits in the Master System version of Sonic the Hedgehog than there are in the Genesis version. Maybe that's why I like this zone so much. It's a little bit more platformy. I don't know, they also have dickish springs like that one that's to the left of us that bounces you into the bottomless pit. I always jump anytime I come to one of those curved bridges just because there's usually fish coming up. Anyway, right here you want to stand on this part of the bridge and huzzah! We got our second Chaos Emerald! And that's it for the zone. And good god! Friggin' 93 coins! I would have only had 90, I believe I would have gotten a ring on the signpost, which gives you 10 rings, and I would have gotten a free man, or a free Sonic, if you will. Uh, uh. <laughs> so the special stages are not all identical. I mean, they're going to look and feel pretty identical, but the design and layout is going to be different. And the goal is ultimately the same for every special stage. You want to get the continue, maybe get a free man, like one such as right there. There are, there are free men, free men, oh god, Sonic, stop it, you're gonna, oh god. <laughs> How does Sonic keep from getting brain damage in situations like that? I must wonder. <laughs> but there are free men in these special stages, and you may want them. This is a very easy game in comparison to the Genesis version, so it's up to you. But huzzah, we completed our second special stage. I swear, I'm not trying to get them on purpose anymore. It's just, it's so easy to get them. As you can see, you get a 200 times ring bonus as opposed to the 100 from before. Every time you complete a, a special stage, rather, uh, your ring bonus continually grows. So if you care about score, you're going to want to keep getting those special stages. They'll be fantastic. You'll have a super high score, which... I, I don't know why you would care. I personally never give a shit about score when playing games. God, I love the song of Bridge Zone so fucking much. It's actually remixed, kind of, in the game Sonic Adventure, which, um, I don't know how many of you actually saw my test recording video. It's actually gotten a surprisingly large amount of views, considering it's just a test, a format test video. But I can very safely say that we will be playing Sonic Adventure and all the 3D Sonic games that I have played. <laughs> we will. It won't be for a long ass time, but we definitely will. I have the process. I have the power. I got the power! <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is an auto-scrolling level. There actually aren't very many of these in Sonic, now that I think about it. There is one in an upcoming game that we will be playing. It'll probably be in a couple of weeks, but there is one in that, and a couple of other ones. But ultimately, there aren't very many. But yeah, it's auto-scrolling, so I can't really speed through this, through this act, which is a shame. But hey, it lets us listen to the kick-ass music of Bridge Zone, so I can't complain. So you may have noticed during the course of this run-through that there are two kinds of bridges here in Bridge Zone. There are the ones that are straight, aclo straight across, <laughs> that don't arc or curve, and those ones, if you're standing on, they the little ledges will fall. The little chunks of the bridge will fall and drop you into the raging river below, which uh, counts as a bottomless pit and you die. <laughs> Such as this one. These are the bridges that I'm referring to. As you'll see, I always wait a little bit here, by the way, because it's a pretty big stretch, and otherwise I have to jump and whatnot. But the logs fall, and it would drop us down the waterfall into the raging river. Never fun. Never fun. And then there's the other kind of bridge, which curve, and you can run on that safely. However, though, I recommend jumping over, over like, the most curved part, the center of the curvy 
not Kirby, but Curvy, because fish usually tend to jump out from there. And, yay, we're on a third special stage. God damn, I'm not doing it on purpose, people, I swear. I really just want to get through. But we're here, we may as well go ahead and collect whatever we can. So once again, I really should stress, you have to finish the special stage before the timer runs out. This gets uh, somewhat difficult to do as, oh, excuse me, as things go on, as these stages go on. It can get somewhat difficult, and it may give you some trouble, as we'll see here in a little bit. If you do not finish in time, then, well, you do not get anything that you obtained in this special stage. And you really gotta be careful because of shit that is about to happen right there. I'm stuck. I've tried my hardest. I, I was trying my hardest, my damnness, to get out of that lock, but I just couldn't do it. You gotta be careful, because if that happens, it is near impossible to get out of. So, you know, just beware. And let's go... Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. There's a free man over to the left there. <laughs> uh, I love it when, when old school games do that. You have to go left to find something that's so fucking rare in, <laughs> in these older games. Anywho, this is even an even easier Dr. Eggman boss. You just take a big jump onto the center of his Eggmobile, and bounce on it a few times, and yeah, it's over. <laughs> He's never gonna fucking hit you. So, yeah, it's over. And huzzah, we broke the Roboticizer! That releases pigs and chickens. Flee! Flee, friends! Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be moving on to the Jungle Zone in part two. Stay tuned.